Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Medibel Pro. I hope you guys will be fine and doing great. So today we are going to continue another course that is going to be the medical billing basic course. So this is a complete course of 20 lectures after the completion of our basic course in medical billing. So if you are going to learn medical billing, then you can just go through my YouTube channel. There is a course of medical billing basic course and you can go through those more than 50 lectures. Okay. So after the completion of that course, we are just going to introduce another course that is the medical coding course. So medical coding course will be comprising of 20 lectures. So we will consider different kind of aspects, importance of medical coders, different types of medical coders. What are the different things that are being done in medical coding and how it is integrated with USA Healthcare. So we will see all that kind of a data in this medical billing basic course. So if you want to be a medical coder, then this course is going very crucial for you guys okay so this is the complete basic course so today we are going to start our first lecture okay so this will be the first lecture in the complete medical coding course okay so I guess we should start the lecture now okay so now we are just going to focus on what should be the table of content okay so what are the different things which we are going to do in today's lecture so that is going to be the overview of medical coding okay so we will see that what is uh, medical coding and how is medical coding being done in USA healthcare definition importance and how it integrates into the healthcare okay so the role of coding in RCM and the types of medical coders outpatient inpatient and specialty coders so these are the three types of medical coders and what are their roles and responsibilities in medical coders and what kind of a skills they require in medical coding so this is a table of contents okay so we will see that how these things are going so let's start this one so overview of medical coding so first of all we see that what is the definition of medical coding who are the medical coders medical coding is the process of transforming healthcare diagnosis procedures medical services and equipments into universal alphanumeric codes these codes are driven from standardized code sets which are crucial for the documentation of healthcare services yes you guys know that there is a big difference between medical billing and medical coding okay so medical billing billers are who are responsible for submitting claims entering the patient's data into a software and following up on denied claims or outstanding claims and payment posting the payments and all that kind of a stuff we have already covered that kind of a stuff in our previous basic course that was medical billing so in this course medical coders are going to code the diagnosis and the procedures which are provided by the rendering provider okay so these codes uh, these basically diagnosis and the procedures are being coded into a specific code. These are alphanumeric codes Okay, so these can be coded into different kind of a codes. Okay diseases and and the procedures Okay, diseases are converted into ICDs like international classification of diseases Any provider is going to perform any kind of a procedure then these procedures are coded into the CPT current procedural terminology Okay, so this was the basic definition like the medical coders are the personal are the professionals who are just going to code different diseases and procedures into different and codes okay so they are just coding different kind of a diseases and procedures so this is the basic kind of a function of medical coders okay so next we see what we have today okay so but I have already mentioned that is ICD CM clinical modification okay so international classification of disease 10 3 vn clinical modification used primarily for coding diagnosis so ICD is going to be used for coding diagnosis it is a globally recognized system that categorizes every disease disorder and injury okay so if a patient got any kind of a disorder disease or injury okay so the medical provider or the medical coders are going to convert or code that kind of a disease into specific codes those are called ICDs what is a CPD current procedural terminology developed by the American Medical Association AMA CPD codes are used to describe that procedures and services that healthcare providers perform okay so any kind of a surgery any kind of a treatment any kind of a like procedure that is performed by the rendering provider so all that kind of a pro procedures are kind of a uh, surgeries are all that kind of a procedures are transformed are converted into different specific codes so these are called current procedural terminology or CPT what is the next one that is a HICPIX or you can say that healthcare common procedural coding system okay so level 2 used for coding medical equipments supplies and other services not included in the CPT codes okay so the services procedures which are included 
in the CPTs our current procedure terminology so we can use different kind of a things as well like if we are just going to provide different kind of a supplies to the patients like we are just uh, providing ambulatory services we are just going to provide the provider basically is going to provide any kind of other equipments like oxygen cylinders or beds so all that kind of a stuff is included in HIPPICS our healthcare common procedure coding system okay so these could be the medical equipments any kind of a medical equipment which is included okay so which is included in any kind of a services so these can be separated from cpd codes so these are called healthcare common procedure coding system okay so these are the three different kind of a things which medical coders are going to do they are just going to convert the diagnosis into the icds international classification of diseases or we can say that diagnosis code next one the procedures okay any kind of procedure which is performed by a medical provider those kind of a procedures are being coded into cpds and if there is a rest of any kind of other supplies or other kind of services which are separated from CPTs, these could be included in HICPICS or Healthcare Common Procedure Coding System. Okay, so next we see what is the importance of medical coding in healthcare. Okay, you guys know that medical coders are very important, so medical coding is also important in this kind of a sector. So if medical coders are not going to code different kind of a diseases or procedures properly then the claims are going to be rejected and the main kind of a thing the financial uh, system is going to be disturbed so medical coding plays a vital role in the healthcare industry here is why it is important accurate billing and reimbursement the main goal of medical coding could be the reimbursement okay or the medical billing you can also say that that is a main goal or the main purpose is going to be the reimbursement Revenue cycle coding is a critical step in re healthcare revenue cycle. Accurate coding ensures that healthcare providers are reimbursed correctly and promptly by insurance companies, government programs like Medicare and Medicaid and patients. So if the medical coders are going to code different kind of a diseases, procedures or HIPPIC scores correctly, then the reimbursement could be possible. Otherwise, the claims would be denied. So in that case, the medical billers are in their role are in function so they are going to uh, they are going to rectify those kind of errors which were uh, causing the denials of the claims so they just rectify and they just ask the coders to correct that kind of a things okay to correct those codes so after correcting we the medical billers are going to uh, send the claims again okay so as a replacement so uh, to avoid this kind of a delay in payments, so medical coders need to focus on all that kind of a stuff to code diagnosis and CPD in a correct way, in an accurate way. Claim denials and rejections, errors in coding can lead to claim denials, rejections and delays in payments, which can impact the financial health of the healthcare providers. Yes, you can know, you can say that if the medical coders are not going to do their job properly, then what would be the result of that kind of a thing? The result would be the delayed in payments, the denials of the claims, and no reimbursements. So accurate medical coding is very, very important in medical coding or medical billing, you can say that. Okay, so this is the most important, like you can say that while submitting the claims to different insurances. Next important uh, factor is going to be the data collection and healthcare analytics. Public health medical coders are used Medical codes basically are used to track the incidence and prevalence of diseases, which helps public health officials and researchers researchers monitor health trends and allocate resources. Okay, so they are just going to allocate different resources and they are going to see what are the sequences and relevance prevalences with different kind of diseases of the patients. Okay, healthcare quality coding. Uh, data is used to assess the quality of care provided by healthcare institutions. This data is crucial for improving patients' outcomes and optimizing healthcare delivery. Okay, so medical coders are just going to code different kinds of diseases, different kinds of procedures, and in this way, they are just going to impact on different kinds of medical coding, like medical in the U.S. healthcare. Okay, so these data, this data is quite important. So this can, this data can be used in different researches. Okay, so different, uh, like you can say that different uh, resources. So data collection and healthcare analytics are also important in medical coding sector. Next is legal and regulatory compliance. HIPAA compliance like healthcare, uh, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act medical coding helps healthcare providers comply with the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act by ensuring that the patient's information is accurately and securely recorded. 
okay so you guys know that once the coders are going to code different kind of a diseases and procedures into spare different codes and these codes are, mo are mostly unknown to the uh, patients okay so they don't know what is the uh, basic kind of a definition of this code so in this way we are just going to save or we are just going to make the patient's data private and secure okay so this is the basically compliance with the hipaa as well so hipaa rules and regulation says that we need to secure the patient's data fraud prevention accurate coding helps prevent providers are fraudulent billing practices and ensures that healthcare providers are only reimbursed for the services they accurately provide okay so if the provider is going to render any kind of a service to a patient then these services and these diagnoses are just secured in the way that they can be coded into a specific course which are cpt or icds okay so fraud can also be avoided in this kind of a situation so next we see integration of medical coding into healthcare so how medical coding is integrated in USA healthcare. Medical coding is deeply integrated into the healthcare system, affecting almost every aspect of healthcare delivery. Patient care, accurate coding helps maintain comprehensive patient records, ensuring continuity of care across different providers and healthcare settings. You guys know that patient care is quite important. So to secure the patient's data, we are just going to code different kind of diseases and uh, procedures into specific codes. Provider communication coding provides a standardized language that healthcare providers use to communicate about patient care, which is crucial for coding, coordinating treatment and ensuring that patients receive a right care at the right time. Okay, so they are just going to the patients are going to get right care at the right time. Insurance and peer system. Insurance companies rely on coding to process claims, determine coverage, and manage the reimbursement process. So once the claim is submitted to an insurance, they will review the claim. They will see and review all that kind of a stuff in that claim, like the patient's information, provided information, and the charges information. If everything is good, then they are going to process the claim and they are going to adjudicate that claim. And after the adjudication process, they will pro process and pay the claim. Okay, so if there is any discrepancy, like if there is an error in the patient's data, in the coding data, okay, so if the things like the procedure codes and the diagnosis codes are not correlated, then the insurance company is not going to pay for that kind of a service. They are going to deny that claim. Okay, so in that case, we need to uh, submit a corrected claim or we need to appeal on that one. Okay, so all that kind of a stuff is being done in medical coding. So impact of coding on the revenue cycle. So what is the impact? So accuracy, the accuracy of medical coding directly impacts the efficiency and effectiveness of the revenue cycle. Proper coding ensures that claims are processed quickly and correctly, reducing delays in payments. Yes, you guys know that. If coding is done in an incorrect way, then we are not going to get paid. So basically, the providers are not going to get the reimbursement for the services they just rendered. So for that kind of a thing, medical coders needs to do all that kind of a stuff in a correct and accurate way. Compliance medical coding helps insurance that healthcare providers comply with payer policies and regulations, reducing the risk of audits and penalties. Yes, the medical coders need to comply with HIPAA rules and other kind of rules and regulations which are standardized by the U.S. healthcare system. Okay, so if they are not going to comply with those kind of, are not going to adhere to those kind of uh, rules and regulations, then there would not be, the claims would be denied. Also, they will be penalized and they will be detained for those kind of services if they just incorrect code those kind of services. Okay, so that is the impact of revenue cycle. So types of medical coders, there are basically three types of medical coders. So the first one type is going to be the outpatient coders. So what is their role and who are they and what kind of a skills are required? So let's see for that kind of a thing. Role and responsibilities, outpatient, outpatient providers or coders focus on coding services provided in outpatient settings such as physician office clinics and ambulatory care centers. They primarily used CPT and ICD CM clinical modification codes to document physician services, minor surgical procedures, and diagnostic tests. Okay, so these are the outpatients. They are just going to perform their services in physician office clinics and ambulatory care centers. Okay, so they are just going to convert all that kind of a procedures and services into different kind of a codes. Okay, so what are the skills required? Strong knowledge of CPT and ICDs. 10 CM coding, understand of understanding of outpatient procedures and the ability to work with electronic health records. Okay, so you guys know that all that kind of a stuff can be done 
in a good way so if uh, they are having these kind of a skills then they can be just the medical coders so they just need to know what is ICD-10 okay so they just need to uh, memorize different kind of ICD codes their definitions and all that kind of a stuff and they just need the familiarity with the electronic health records as well okay so they need to add that kind of a stuff into the electronic health records too so those are the these are the uh, outpatient coders. So the next one is going to be the inpatient coders. Role and responsibilities. Inpatient coders work in hospital settings where patients are admitted for longer stays. These, they are responsible for coding more complex procedures such as surgeries and using ICDs, 10 PCS codes for procedure performed during the inpatient cares. So if a patient is going to be admitted into a hospital setting, then those kind of a services which were rendered in that kind of a scenario, these kind of a services are basically coded by the inpatient coders okay so if a patient is inpatient in an inpatient setting in a hospital then these kind of a services are the are diagnosis or all that kind of a stuff is being coded by the inpatient coders skills required expertise in ICD 10 CM and ICD 10 PCS coding understanding of hospital documentation and familiarity with the diagnostic diagnosis related groups DRGs used for the hospital reimbursements so there are different kind of a things like they just know what is the uh, importance of these kind of a things so they just need to code accurately to get the reimbursement for the services which are provided by the different providers in an inpatient setting so the last one is going to be the specialty coders role and responsibilities special recorders focus on specific areas of medicines such as cardiology oncology or radiology they become experts in in the coding guidelines and reimbursements requirements for these their chosen speciality ensuring accurate coding for specialized procedures and services okay so they are just going to uh, code different kind of a things related to cardiology oncology radiology so these kind of a stuff they are just going to code basically for the speciality okay so what are the skills required? In-depth knowledge of specialty, understanding of relevant coding guidelines and the ability to stay updated on changes in coding practices within the specialty. So if there is any kind of a change, they just need to adhere to those kind of a rules, regulations, and the new updates. So this was the last uh, type of medical coders. So that was all about our today's lecture. Thank you so much for your attention. So if you guys need to learn what is medical coding or what is medical billing basically, then you guys can just go through my YouTube channel. I have uploaded more than 50 lectures over there and these lectures are in series. Okay, so you can just learn medical billing as well as medical coding. So we have just finally started our medical coding uh, basic course 2024. So you can just go through this one. Okay, there are basically information about different jobs in medical coding as well, medical billing as well. So you guys can just go through all that kind of a stuff on my YouTube channel. You guys can WhatsApp me that my number is already available over here. You guys can email me as well. Okay, so thank you so much for your attention. Inshallah, we'll meet in the next lecture with different kind of a stuff in medical coding. So that will be our next lecture, lecture number two. This was all about today's lecture number one. Take care. Have a good day. Inshallah, we'll meet in the next lecture. Allah Hafiz. Goodbye.